Hey yo, what up, yo, it's your boy Karabani Wokwili and I'm hanging out with Anderson Gomez from Cape Verde, all the way from Cape Verde right now. Anderson, how you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good, how about you? I am doing lovely, man, I am doing just great. Hey, before we do anything, I do wanna wish you uh, a belated happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. Thanks, thanks, I appreciate it, appreciate it. So what do you do on your birthday? You want to share with us? What I did on my birthday? Yeah, we want to know. I ain't did, I ain't did. Nah, I'm up, I ain't did that much because we were still in that situation. Like we got coronavirus and all, the, all these things going on. Right. So I couldn't do that much. Okay, I all right. I with the family. Yeah, I, was, I just was with the family and a couple of friends, yeah. That's what I did, basically. Nice, nice. Nice. And um, if you don't mind, how old are you now? I just turned 23. 23? Yeah, nice. Yeah, I just turned 23. All right, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope, man. Happy belated birthday again. Yeah, okay. So we're going to jump right into it right now. All right. Uh, before we go any further, I am sure everybody would like to know who are you? Like, who is Anderson Gomez? Like, who is this person, Anderson Gomez? Tell us about yourself. Who, me? Yeah. Anderson Gomez, everybody. Like, everybody knows me like a hard worker. That's what I call myself. And everybody knows me like that. And the other thing. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Just a hard worker. <laughs> Just a hard worker, yeah. Hey, Good that's fa that's fair enough. I've seen so so I've seen this compilation video on the internet. Um, I think from the time you were playing under eighteen or something like that, you dunking on everybody and blocking everybody, insane blocks and dunks. Were you playing for the uh, under eighteen team, Cape Verde, or was that no, just high school? No, there was a team. I was playing for the. There was. There was. Where, where was that? I don't, I don't know, know, man. There's a video. I, there's I, a, I never play on a national team under 18 because we didn't have. Okay. But I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Which one you're talking about? What video well, so. you know, I guess you big time. People just making videos of you because you were blocking people when you said hard working. That's the first thing that came in my head. I was doing my little research on you and I saw you were just blocking everybody and dunking on everybody, man. Oh, that's probably back in the back in your ass too. That's probably oh. when I was in school too. Where where'd you go to school? I went to Redemption Christian Academy. Where's that? It was a prep school. What state? Upstate New York. Upstate, upstate okay. New York. All right. Yeah. All right. Three, Albany. Was in Albany. All right. Okay. So, uh, when did you, uh, when did you get back to uh, Cape Verde? 2018. And automatically you started playing for the national team? No, I came back in 2018 and I played, I played a season in Cape Verde. And after that, I went to Portugal. Yeah. So you're playing for play for the national team. Uh -huh. I, we, are, we went to play in the national team in Algeria. It was January, yeah. And after that, I went to Portugal. Right after. So you're playing as a professional in Portugal right now. It's not a professional. It's like same professional. I'm playing professional, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So. um how competitive is it making it into the national team in Cape Verde? It is competitive. Yo, we got a lot of players. It's, it's like hard to get in the team. So tell us about it. Uh huh. Like the last time, y'all didn't see the most of the players, you know, because a lot of them was in the, they was playing the, they had the games and some of the players got an injury like it. Ivan and so it was a lot of things going on, right? So, but like we got a lot of players. Like to make to the team, you got to be like pretty good, you know. Like twenty your minutes, you got to do your thing. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> I hear that. So, um, you would say Cape Verde is a basketball country, is it? Or is it soccer? No, no. Soccer, soccer. Soccer is still number one. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, most of the people play soccer in Cape Verde. Even me, I was playing soccer before. First time playing basketball. Okay, what position were you playing when you were playing soccer? I was playing a lot of positions. I wasn't. I was playing a lot of positions. Okay. Time. You must have been killing it with your height, man. You you six six, right? No, I'm six five, six five. Six five. Okay. All right. Six five. Okay. So um, tell us something about your your national team. Do you feel like um, you guys stand a chance of uh, winning it all? Afro basket. Like you mean right now? Mm -hmm. This team that you have, do you think you guys can clinch it? Like take the title? Mm, I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not going to be like, I'm positive we can do like something great, but like win the Afro basket right now and the situation we got right now, I don't even know, man. Okay. So wait a minute. When you say the situation you got right now, what is the situation that you got right now? I mean, if we if we got all the players like Eddie, Ivan, and everybody come out like Jeff, Will, and everybody, yeah, I, th I, th I think we can do something great. But like, like all the players we went to Cameroon, it's gonna be like pretty hard, you know. True. I'm, I'm not sure. If we can do it. True. Okay, I, that makes a lot of sense. You know, with. Um barring injuries and anything like that and of course the uh, corona thing if nothing affects your team meaning you have all the players that's what i mean to say do you guys stand a chance because you guys are going to be playing against uh morocco egypt sure. and uganda to qualify into um if we got a lot if we got all the players for sure we do got a chance you do okay that's that's what i wanted to hear i wanted to hear how we you feel about chance. your team if we got all the players uh -huh. And everybody on the same page, yeah, we do got a chance. We got okay. a lot of talents played. Okay. We do got a chance. And I got to give props to your coach, man. Yeah, the adjustments. You know, it's all about making adjustments. And I think coaches in Africa, they, you know, elite coaches in Africa, or should I say maybe coaches that coach elite teams in Africa have a lot of work to do because the majority of the time, this is what they got to deal with. You don't know who's going to be playing. You don't know who's going to be flying from Europe yeah, or yeah, from yeah. the States. People just show up. Teams just show up. So you got to come up with a plan on the fly as you're playing against the team. So you got to be really good in terms of making adjustments. So I got to give props to your coach, man. Yeah. Especially that the game against good, Sudan. Man. I think your coach did a really good job. Because the first quarter, Sudan was running you guys out the court. <laughs> yeah, I remember. And we started playing defense like one three one. Yes, and that's when everything changed. Um, was that your coach? So, yeah. When you guys started playing that one three one, was that your coach's idea or was it one of your players that you know was like, okay, wait a minute, this is gonna work for us? Who came up with that idea? No, it was coach. It was coach. It was a coach because that changed coach. everything. Sudan didn't know what hit him. And it was, you know. And he knows I'm the athletic player, you know. He put right. me down. So I was going to run, run, you know. It was a coach idea, man. Coach knew what to do. Okay. And they started, they started tripping on that game. They, they went down. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> Very true, man. All right. Um, so let's move it a little further. Um talk a little more about you so i know you're a hard worker right when it's all said and done when you're done with basketball when you're done playing now you're just chilling allowing yourself to get fat i don't know if you're gonna allow yourself to get fat or you're gonna be working out till you die <laughs> how do you want to be remembered as a player like when you look back you say i want people to remember me as this kind of player what kind of player do you want to be remembered by i mean how like hard worker mm -hmm. and a good teammate mm -hmm. 
Like work it good to me. What else, let me see. A player that, uh, I'm the type of player that like, they play on my role, do whatever I can for my team. I want okay. to be remember like that. Okay, you don't yeah. want to be, you, you yeah. don't want to be the GOAT? You don't want to be in the GOAT nah, conversation? <laughs> nah, I just want to be in the... I, I don't want to be in the GOAT conversation on, that, on those things. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't, I'm not the type of person, you know? Uh-huh. You're more humble. You just want to go out there, do your thing. You're more like a Tim Duncan. Yeah, I'm just going to... Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I don't want to be the GOAT. Nah. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um okay so how long have you you said you started playing 2018 uh for cape verd right for the national team no 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 it was 2020 2020 the first time I went to the oh, okay okay so you really haven't played much against other national teams in africa right you haven't met a lot of teams you haven't gone against a lot of teams right okay but so I know them but you know them okay yeah well that's good because that's where i was going with that now with the knowledge that you have what team do you think is the toughest team out there or the best team and you guys are eyeing them and thinking okay those are the that team right there is a team we're going for if we're going to win it all what team is that yeah there's a couple teams right now you got mm -hmm. tunisia mm -hmm. you got uh, Senegal. Mm -hmm. You got Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You got Egypt. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of teams for real. Okay, now I'm gonna put you, you on a spot. Out. out of all those teams that you just named right now, which one is the best? I don't even know. Uh, come on, man. Uh, you say you, you say you're hard working. I'm sure you've done your scouting. I'm sure you've done your scouting. You're looking at teams, you study them and all that, and you know their weaknesses and their, you know, their strength. So which one you're looking at and you're like, this is a pretty strong team right here. I can say like Nigeria. Mm -hmm. like Nigeria is, I think it did, they're the best team on all. Nigeria? They look. I don't know about the chemistry and everything they're going to do in the Alpha Basket and all that, you know. But they got a good ass team. They got a lot of players. They got NBA players. Mm -hmm. They got the players that are about to go to the draft. Yeah, they got a good team. Okay, what about Tunisia and Angola? Yeah, it's, Tunisia, they got a good, good team. They got a good chemistry. And I'll be watching their games. They got a good chemistry. Angola, too. But Angola, okay. uh -huh. they got a lot of guys in the team so it's not it's not the same angola as before you know okay as a couple years ago okay okay nice nice so okay and another tough well it's not really a tough question but i know a lot of our viewers love this you know people that don't really get to play the game people that just watch the game usually love talking about who is the best player so when we sit on the side we want to know who's the best player who do you think is the best player on a continent? On the continent? Yes. Okay, now, okay, let me break this down so it makes sense. Not the kind of players that play in the US or play in Europe and only come for, for Afro Basket. No. Players that play in the league and also play in the Afro Basket. I want those. I don't want those NBA players. I don't want those, you know, college players. Players that you know that play in the league in Africa and also play in Afro Basket. Those are the ones I want. Who is the best player? So you mean just... Let me see. There's a lot. Just you one. Mean, one, you mean one, the one, one. Right. So you best mean player. They only play in, in the Africa leagues? Yes. The best player. I mean, I'm sure you get to meet them in like in Afro Basket, Afro Con and all that. You meet them. But you know, this player doesn't play in the NBA. I don't want those kind of players because we have NBA players that play in Afro Basket. I don't want them. I don't want the NBA players, right? I want African players that play in Africa. Who is the best? Like, you got a lot of players. You got Ivan. You, you, you mean even players that play in Europe? 
Okay, we Europe, yeah. Let's let's have Europe. Let's put Europe in there. They play in Europe because I know okay for Cape Verde, you guys play in Europe and also play for the league in Cape Verde, right? A lot of you do that, right? Yeah. So that's included because you play in the league. I want players that play in the league. So he qualifies. He's also in it. I'm gonna tell you like I got I know I know a lot of players, but like I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you like Ivan. Mm -hmm. We got we got Eddie. You got Cosmo Rice. Cosmo Rice. Uh -huh. You know him from Angola. Yes, yes. Yeah, who else? Let me see. Cosmo you don't. Rice. You got Ivan. Ivan Almeida. Uh huh. Cause I know Ivan. Like we we we'll be playing, and I know I know. <laughs> I, know I know you know him. Yeah, yeah I, I know you I know, know him. That boy's. I know that boy's nice, you know. <laughs> like, I don't even know. All right. Players like like that, like they're playing the league, and after the league, I don't even know like that. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. And now I got the easiest question of them all. Ha. <sighs> what is the best thing about your country tell us a little something about your country now this could be anything this is you according to you it could be your music it could be your food it could be anything what is the best thing about cape bird i think like food food food, food. yo we got food that's a good food music and everything man. so if you cool. If you're trying to sell your country right now, it's a good place to live. Yeah, it's a good place to live. You got a nice well, weather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cabrera is a good place to live, definitely. Okay. And what, what's the name of the capital city? Praia. That's where I live. Where? Praia. 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 Yeah, Praia. Yeah. How do you spell it? Can you spell it for me? I have no clue. P. R-A-I-A uh P-R-A-I-A -huh. uh -huh. Praia Nice I'm coming out there man I was talking to Shane And he Are told sure? me that Yeah And he told me how nice it is out there And uh, the music And uh, I'm coming man I'm coming for a vacation When things calm down yeah. And uh, I want to come out there Seems like a dope place Well man I, I just want to thank you so much, man. You've been uh, you've been great. And um, one last thing I want to I want to ask you. This is actually a little message to the kids out there. You're you're fairly young, 23 years old. You made it playing for the national team. What advice do you have for those young kids out there that want to make it to the level where you at right now? What do they need to do to make it to that level? They just gotta work hard and never give up, you know? Anything is possible. I'm not like, I don't feel like I'm, I'm where I wanna be, but like, I know I got a lot to improve. So, they, they got a lot to improve too to get on the national team. It's not impossible, you know? Mm -hmm. If I make, everybody can. If I did, they can. You know? That's just what I have to say. Cool, man. Hey, Anderson, thank you so much, man. Uh, do they call you Anderson is by your full name or you got a nickname? No, Anderson, Anderson. Just Anderson. And they call me Black Levine. Black Levine. Black Levine. Aha, because how <laughs> you be dunking on people and all that, right? Black Levine. Yeah, that's what he used to call me for, yeah. Nickname Black Levine. All right, I got that. I got that. Hey, man, thank yeah. you so much, man. You've been great. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah, me too, man. I really appreciate what y'all do, man.